Well, hey folks, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing really good. Uh, so I'm getting ready to put the pick guide back on my tally here. And I thought I'd share this little hack with you guys. These can be tricky to uh, get back in and lined up. Uh, so I've come up with a little way that I do it, and it works good for me. So I'd like to show you that right now. So what I've done here is I've put both screws all the way through the uh, guard itself, piece of surgical tubing to hold them in there. So the screws are basically flush, so I know they'll reach down in. So what we're going to do here next is put a piece of foam underneath the pickup. And that's going to hold it up a little bit, so that way when we put the guard on, uh, the pickup will kind of be up through, and that should help kind of line things up, and that way it'll be easy to get those started in. Uh, if you put the guard on right now, a lot of times you can get one to start, but the other one won't run into this multiple times. So I'm going to put you uh, folks right on top of the guitar. I'm going to need both hands to do this, and uh, we'll get right to it. Okay, so I'm not talking about this kind of foam. This stuff over time gets brittle and gets really uh, crusty and just disintegrates. What I'm talking about is this kind of foam rubber. Really dense stuff. You can see the difference, okay? Now, you know, you can get this at like probably craft stores and that kind of thing. I'm really not sure where I got this piece, but uh, I'm just going to cut a little piece off it to go into the pickup. And that will hold it in place. Okay, as I said before, I can't remember where I got this stuff from, but I save little pieces of this stuff, and I've been cutting off this for a while, but... So what I'm going to do is just stick that piece of foam in there, and then we are going to flop the pickup down. Yeah, that looks about right. Yep, I think that'll work just fine. Uh, so let's move you folks back here just a little bit and we'll slide the guard in here. Okay. Now I just want to kind of get that lined up as good as I can so the pickup's coming up through the guard like that. There we go. We already got one screw started and there's the other one. Perfect. Now you don't want your foam too thick. You don't want it sticking all the way up. Now, I like to have it so I can at least, uh, you know, adjust the pickup to the, to the bottom of the screws, so to speak, so I can sink the pickup down in there. Now, that's about right. It's below the fretboard. I'll probably leave it about in that height range anyway. So, that's just a simple little hack, and, uh, man, it makes it so much easier than trying to, you know fidget the pit guide around and like I said usually I can get one of them to start and the other one won't because what happens when you get one started it 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 uh, skews the pickup or lifts it like a boat okay and uh, then you can't get a straight you know shot with the other screw so that little piece of foam helps good to uh, align that and like I said don't use this kind of stuff if you have to in a pinch, go ahead, put put some clear packing tape on it just lightly just to hold it, you know, intact. So that way you don't have that debris in your guitar, you know, 10 years from now. So there's a cool little hack there, folks. Now anyway, uh, moving right along, I'm going to put the screws back in. We're going to lock the pit guard down. And uh, I've been having some thoughts about... Maybe changing stuff around with this guitar just a little bit. This is a patch caster anyway, so uh, this is the way it was when I purchased it. It had the, uh, you know, heavy telly knobs and the uh, round barrel, you know, switch tip, which is cool. It's got a cool look to it. I really do love this guitar. I love this color with the black guard. So, I was thinking of maybe changing this stuff around. Whoop. Um, 
We'll see. I'm not sure yet, but I dug out some knobs. I've got some, there's some uh, strat knobs. They're kind of too white. Uh, and I've got these ones too, which, you know, that's been done before, that, that kind of thing, which I think that does look cool. I think these are Fender amp knobs, actually. Now, here's a cool one I found in my knob stash here. Um, that's off an old radio, I think. But boy, that color is perfect. And also, I had some switch tips out. Okay, so I think I'm going to do away with the uh, the uh, round barrel. And let me see what I got here. Yeah, there's a nice kind of cream colored one. I think I'll go with that. Like a strat style knob. Matches the color very nice. I wished I could find another one of those. Boy, that would be cool, but I don't think I have another one. I take these off old radios and for instance, there's some old radio knobs here. Those are funky. They look like hubcaps or something. Uh, not really sure about those. I'd have to like drill them out. I am going to leave this switch tip though. And let's see, the other option that I think I may go with. Uh, let's see. I gotta get it pushed down on there. Okay. These are Marshall amplifier knobs. And they're kind of broke in, okay? They got that kind of dull. They used to be really bright gold, but now they've kind of worn almost kind of a brass look. So I'm thinking about maybe running it like that. I think that's kind of cool. It's different. Now these got pointers on them too. You know, it's got a little kind of ridge that sticks out, which is cool. So what I like to do with those style knobs, I'm going to put that one right on noon. So here's your tone. All the way up it's on noon, basically, okay? So that, that I know what that feel, you know, I can feel that when that, that line on the knob is basically at 12 o'clock. I know my tone is wide open. Now, I like to take the volume and just go past it from about noontime to about 2 o'clock. So I'll put them both at about noon, you know. I'll usually run my tone a little bit under noontime, depending on the amp have this on about noon so I know basically where I am and then if I need a little more I know I got that extra couple notches so I like to start out kinda like that so yeah I kinda dig that I think it's different kind of a cool look I like having my guitars a little different sometimes you know I get sick of the same old thing same old knobs that kinda stuff and it's just fun to do it you know, you can always change it back anytime. But I did want to show you guys that little pickup hack. I mean, you guys probably know this already, but if you've messed around with Telecasters, um, I usually, you know, if they don't have the adjustable screws on each side of the pickup, like the old black guards, you had to take it off. I usually drill holes, countersink them, and set them up so I can adjust them. So, again, that little trick with a piece of foam underneath works very well. Uh, you could do it with a piece of paper, probably. Anything just to hold it up a little bit and something that you don't mind leaving in there. I like to use that foam because it's not going to make any noise. It's not going to rattle or anything. So, uh, that's pretty much it. So, now i got to put the old screws back in the guard and put my knobs away. Uh, I've got an awful pile of guitar knobs and amp knobs kicking around here, folks. I just, I don't know. I'm not a hoarder, but I have a lot of knobs. I just keep saving them. Like you said, anytime I, you know, run across something like an old clock radio that has cool-looking knobs on it and it's, you know, going for the trash pile, I take them. Uh, and once in a while, like I said... 
I bet you somewhere I probably have another one of these. But, man, that's the color, you know. That would have looked real cool. Kind of a chicken head. Chicken head knobs look cool on, on guitars, too. And I like the feel. I do like something with a little indicator line, like I said. So I always know where I'm at. Well, anyway, thanks for checking this one out. I'm going to put this one back together and uh, probably go play it for a while. Uh, I haven't played this for, for a few weeks, and uh, we'll just get this one out and see what it sounds like again. All right, folks. Well, thanks again. We'll see you guys real soon. Be good. Okie doke.